We see headlines, active supervolcano could someday imperil U.S. Navy bases near the Campi Flegrei supervolcano. And now we just have another headline. It seems they're also now aware that the situation is getting a little bit risky. So they have given out basically a brochure what to do in an emergency if there's earthquakes or a volcanic eruption. And I'll show you this in a minute. It's They even tell their personal what to do with their pets, which I think is beautiful. So the US Navy does not have a presence right in the Solfatara itself, but the US Navy Kearney Park, probably they say the best kept secret is very, very close. And it does have a large base in Naples in Italy, which is a significant concern due to the Solfatara crater that is the most active and has most of the epicenters of the earthquakes and all these fumaroles. And it's the potential location for a potential eruption. It's the, the US Naval Support Academy, the NSA, um, their Naples personnel are located in and around the Naples area. And an emergency preparedness video has also been made a while ago. It was even filmed near the Solfatara to highlight the dangers of this volcanic crisis in the region. Now we have this brochure, many call the Campi Flegri supervolcano a ticking time bomb. I mean, Naples is a wonderful city. It's full of life and culture. It's built on the slopes of Vesuvius. That was the better known monster, the Vesuvius volcano, protagonist of one of the most famous eruption in history when it destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum in 79, it was completely burying the two cities of the Roman Empire. So today, almost 6 million people live in and around the city of Naples. And it's surprising if we look at a satellite image of Naples, because then we can really see the magnitude of Vesuvius, but also of the supervolcano Campi Flegri and the direct proximity of both to the population. But since Campi Flegri is not a stratovolcano that is high up in the air, people live on the volcano. They settled on the volcano. And the situation in Naples is complicated because Campi Flegri, this supervolcano, it's not just only located opposite of Vesuvius, which occupies northwest of the city. Um, a volcanic eruption in the Naples region would not only affect the millions of Italians that live directly there, but also Europe with exponential consequences in the economic and human spheres. Because Campi Flegre is a super volcano, that's a type of volcano that has a magma chamber that's a thousand times larger than normal volcanoes, conventional volcanoes, as we want to call them. And therefore, it has the largest and the most voluminous eruptions on Earth. The volcano's caldera was formed 39,000 years ago, and it's considered in geology one of the largest eruptions in history. And it has even linked to being maybe the cause for the extinction of the Neanderthals. Campi Flegre has 24 craters, as you see from the aerial pictures, and its action could be compared to a meteorite falling to Earth, meaning enormous destruction. So now the U.S. Navy base in Naples has just released this brochure that they call Campi Flegre and Vesuvius. And they outline on what to do in the event of an earthquake or eruption. And it has been given to the employees at the U.S. Naval Support Activity Base in Naples that is spread out throughout Naples so that they know how to prepare in an event of an eruption or earthquake. And this earthquake swarm that I call it a continuous earthquake swarm, basically for seven weeks, they've been rattled and rattled and rattled. End of November was especially intense, but December started with the same thing as you can see here. Same, same, same earthquakes, one after the other. And it's probably going to continue into tomorrow without end or even a bigger one, we could see another magnitude four. So that the US 
naval base is doing this right now. And they're not only relying on what the officials are saying or what the INGV is saying. That tells you something, guys. So those who live in Naples and in the province where Naples is, in the area, Campania, they have lived with the risk of earthquakes and volcanoes for millennia. That's not new to them. And on one side, we have in the south of Vesuvius, and the Neapolitans call it Mutania, the volcano that symbolizes the landscape of the Campanian capital, Naples. It towers, you can see it almost from everywhere, from the water and from inside the city, and from Campi Fligre also. And Campi Fligre is in the western area of Naples considered one of the most dangerous volcano in Europe. And it shakes the earth between Bagnoli and Pozzoli almost every day. So of course, it's clear that those who live in these parts, they must be prepared and aware of the risks that they face, both from the perspective of earthquakes, but also a potential eruption. Potential eruption is the problem, guys. We're discussing this all the time. Should they evacuate now? I mean, how much longer do they want to wait? Then there comes money into play, tourism, investments. It's a difficult situation. But for this reason, the U.S. Naval Support Activity in Naples, that's how it's called. I'll show you the brochure while I'm talking. Um, has the U.S. Navy base in the city has given their employees this booklet explaining what to do in the event of an earthquake or an eruption. It's produced by Stars and Stripes, that's what it's called, and distributed free to the employees. Um, the U.S. Naval Support Activity brochure contains certainly useful information about the two Neapolitan volcanoes, although right now we do not really have to worry about Vesuvius. It's Campi Fligri that we worry about and we're in fear of um, best case scenario when it comes to an eruption, only a phreatic eruption, which would also be devastating enough for the red zone, for Pozzoli, and of course for the greater area with more than five to 800,000 people in the direct affected area. So for example, it contains all the necessary terminology, like words like magma, magnitude, eruption, epicenter, hypocenter, um, it also includes a map, shows the red zones and the yellow zones. It also has a map that explains the new um, alert levels. They used to have like green, yellow, orange, and red when Chizzy's hitting the fizzy. And now they have added another level to yellow and another level to orange. So we're in dark yellow basically right now. So in my opinion, they did this so that they would not have to go to orange because that would already trigger evacuations. So it gives the employees a good overview who's at risk the most and if you're in that area, what to do. And uh, Vesuvius is on green alert right now, Campi Fligre on yellow alert. And uh, I think, yeah, they're practical and useful tips. Um, well, what include in an emergency kit? Yeah, but you know, if something goes off there, you just run, right? Um, about how to prepare your children, your pets, their tips on how to re react in the event of a larger earthquake or eruption. If it's an eruption, I think, uh, sadly, I have to say, I think people there are doomed in the red zone, definitely. In, in the case of an earthquake, well, they tell them do not run outside, stand under a door, protecting sensitive areas like your head and neck. Um, ha! Ah, with these old homes there, they really collapse on top of you. We've seen this in Turkey. When people now are jumping out of the third floor windows because they fear that their homes might collapse. And the authorities are telling us that this is going to happen with these homes, that they're basically only leaning on each other in Pozzoli in, in many, many cases because the grout has turned to dust. So yeah, if you have a solid home or a modern structure that's built to codes, you should not run outside because you can be hit, of course, by roof shingles, by anything that's attached to the outside of the homes, like ornaments or glass. But if the whole thing collapses, I'm not so sure that's the right um, advice. But we will have to wait and see. Hopefully they will never need it. But right now it's definitely 
it is a volcanic crisis and the situation doesn't look too great. I will definitely keep you updated if you want to learn about all the latest studies that show all the weaknesses of this volcano and why the eruption risk is increasing. Um, check out my other videos, guys. I have a playlist, a Campi Flickery playlist, but I'll also put a few videos here in the end screen. And if you're interested in other stuff, check out my channel. I would love for you to subscribe. 3 I Atlas, lots of videos. Just go to my channel start page and check everything out. Thank you, guys. Please hype and subscribe. Like the video and maybe you want to become a member or buy me a coffee. Link is in the description. Thank you so much. I see you in a second if you click here.